All right, welcome back. This is uh, the third episode in my hydroplane project. This is an eight foot three point hydroplane. It's called a Sea Flea or a Minimax. And what's kind of cool about these is they're really kind of the Lotus uh, methodology or approach to going fast on the water. Less is more, right? Anyway, this thing now has eight coats of epoxy on it. I'm gonna show you how I finished restoring the hull. And then I'm gonna dig into getting to this little race motor here. This is a Mercury Lightning and it's about 10 horsepower. Theoretically, this little 10 horse motor should power this thing to about 40 to 50 miles an hour in the water, which is gonna be awesome. So yeah, let's, uh, let's dig into it. In my last video, you could see this last coat of epoxy did not really turn out that well, but it actually cured okay. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and sand this one more time and then put a layer on, and then I should be able to block sand this thing flat. So let's just knock this out quick. So as you can see here, everything's really evenly sanded. There's just a couple low spots left. This is the most important part of the boat, along with these uh, these parts right here. I think I had that amine, or amine, I don't know how to pronounce it, blush going on. So what I'm gonna try and do is get this wet and sand it, and then rinse it off and let it dry in the sun here. All right, now before the last coat of epoxy, I'm just gonna use some dish soap and a Scotch-Brite pad and just scrub this thing down. I'm not totally sure what's happening. I'm getting some white spots in some areas, which is a little weird. But yeah, it's really flat. You can kind of see that last coat of epoxy I put on. It's kind of got this mottled appearance because it beat it up. So that's okay, because it's, it's flat now, pretty smooth. I don't know how perfect I'm gonna get this thing. Again, this is not a, a real race boat, so I'm not really gonna be competing or anything with this thing, but this is looking pretty good. I think I'm gonna be about ready for the, the final coat here. And the reason I wanna do a couple more coats is there's just a couple areas that are still just it looks like the epoxy hasn't totally soaked into some of these little tiny spots, but it, it looks pretty good. But why not do another couple coats? Why not? I got the epoxy. Let's do it. Start it up. The last coat of epoxy turned out pretty decent. But I'm gonna do one more coat just because there's a couple areas where it it beat it up again. Here it's laying out real nice, and then there you can see that it's just beaded away, and I'm not sure why it's doing that, but whatever, we're gonna put one more coat on it and then it should be good. So let's do one more. So this is the engine that I built with my dad when I was a kid. Um, I didn't have a boat at the time, but he had this thing and we rebuilt it together. It should be all ready to go inside, new rings, new bearings, all that kind of stuff. The, the problem was is that I never found a boat for it. I always was looking for something like this, but never found a good deal and yeah, it seems like it worked out. But first I want to go over this thing and why it's really cool. So let's check it out. So this thing is definitely not stock. It's kind of a mishmash of a bunch of different years thrown together. It has a Mercury Hurricane gas tank on it, which is a KG4, but I was told this is a KE7, so there's a couple things that make this thing special. It's got um, an upgraded transom here that's all aluminum to save weight, a rear-mounted steering bar, a shortened midsection, because normally these are a bit longer, and then the exhaust is going to be coming out here above the water, and then down here, this is what's called a Quicksilver lower unit. And 
This is a one-to-one -one drive with no neutral and no reverse. So when this engine is on, that prop is spinning. Why do they do that? Well, when you look at a normal lower unit on these things, it's a lot less hydrodynamic and it's a lot bigger because it needed all those extra gears for neutral and reverse. This one doesn't have any of that. So it's a very, very pointy, high-speed gear case. With a we need to get this thing running again. It's been sitting a really long time and it seems like it's seized up. When I try to pull start it, it, it just doesn't want to do anything. So I think the first thing we're going to do is pull the gas tank and soak these cylinders with some penetrant to see if we can loosen it up. So it looks like the spark plug wire with more gold paint is on top. Now hopefully these spark plugs don't show any signs of corrosion. And they don't, they look pretty oily, so that's good. Oh, this is working fine. Look at that. Okay, cool. So the motor isn't seized. Something's wrong with that recoil. I think what I want to do is get to this and see if loosening this Allen will help it spin a little more. But in order to get to that, I think I need to take the handle off, which has a combination of Phillips and slotted for some reason. So let's take that handle off quick. Okay, so I don't really know how this works yet, but what I'm gonna try and do is just loosen this and see if that makes it happy. Oh, okay. Nope. Okay, I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. Something is preventing this from turning. It just just stops there. So I guess it's not that, because that didn't do it. Which means we gotta take it apart. Now it's spinning. A little confused by this because I don't know why this plate, which has nothing on it whatsoever, would prevent this from spinning. Okay, these are magnetic. You know what I think we're gonna do? I think we're just gonna lubricate this thing. And see if it is happy when I put it back together now that it has lubricant in it. Let's try that. Now it stop, whoop. Why? Why are you still stuck? All right, that's about it for this episode. If anyone knows what the hell is going on with this recoil, let me know. I've been drinking all day since I've been working on that SST project and replacing the transom. So pretty frustrated already. Don't feel like dealing with this right now. So again, if anyone knows why this is doing this, please let me know. All right, cheers and thanks for watching. All right, have a good one.